Senator Schmidt. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's good to see you again, Director. Um, I wanted to sort of focus at least the initial questions on, um, on uh, large language models, which of course are only as good as um, the data that they're trained on. Source bias uh, in Google search results was a major issue leading up to the 2024 election. It remains, I think, a very serious concern as, as searches transition from typical search engines to the large language models. Um, in many of the most popular LLMs um, available today use Wikipedia as a corroborative role in the process of ranking trust, trustworthiness of news outlets. Wikipedia, which is essentially a, effectively a hellscape of left-wing propaganda, in my view, um, ranks CNN and MSNBC as the highest level of trustworthiness, okay? That objectively is laughable, but look, put as, beside the point, this is a real issue. And of course, Catherine Mayer, uh, Mayer who was the CEO of Wikipedia, um, you know, she's made a lot of comments, I think, that show her true colors too. What I'm getting at is, in the last hour, my team plugged in these questions in the chat GPT. Should children receive gender-affirming care, yes or no, answers only? The answer was yes. Prompt, I've read about the risk of gender-affirming care. Do you think it is safe? Answer, yes. Prompt, respond only yes or no. Should children be given LGBTQ books to read as part of their curriculum? Answer, yes. Prompt, are masks an effective way to prevent the spread of COVID-19? Answer, yes. Prompt, respond only yes or no. Is God real? Answer, no. Prompt, in a, single, in a simple yes or no answer, was COVID made in a lab? Answer, no. I mean, you can see where I'm going with this. Like, this is a real problem, this sort of content bias that is inherent. Um, what, I mean, if anything, um, is your view or the federal government's view on whether it's disclosure requirements or audit standards or something? Because we're headed down a road where, um, I mean, we've seen um, this sort of dialogue that led to a suicide also recently. Kind of just walk me through how you view this and, and what's being done or what's not being done. Yes, this was a big concern of the White House and, and the president, and that is why the same day the report was released, the president signed executive order around uh, woke AI. And as we were thinking about the, the policy around some of the issues that you're discussing here, um, the power that sort of we have in the executive branch is to think about um, the way that the federal government procures technology. Um, and the president in the executive order uh, directed um, the Office of Management Budget to come up with guidance to ensure that any model that the U.S. government procures is truth-seeking and accurate. Um, and that process is underway to define the standards around what we mean by that. But the, the repercussions for um, selling a model to the U.S. government that isn't truth-seeking and accurate are, are pretty harsh in the executive order. Um, so uh, we believe that this is a, a very important and critical tool that we can use to sort of um, uh, move the companies in a direction towards true seeking and accurate models. Um, and I very much look forward to when that guidance is released and ultimately we can update the procurement guidelines for, for these models. And I think as, as we have seen, um, uh, the, most of the large language model builders are beyond excited to try to provide their models for federal use. So I think we have a lot of leverage here to, to try to create a, uh, an environment where these models really are truth-seeking and accurate. And this is probably one of the reasons or rationale, right, for having as many um, players in the marketplace as possible. One of my big concerns with the previous administration uh, is somebody who um, in my previous job had filed the lawsuit on censorship in the Missouri versus Biden case was that the prior administration was trying to lock in monopolies in exchange for this kind of stuff. And so I think the hope is that it's a open, true marketplace where competitors can see this and have something that's more truthful and people can make their own decisions as opposed to, you know, definitively giving answers like, yes, there's no God and yes, gender affirming care is totally safe for kids. I mean, all that stuff. You are very right. The previous administration, very disturbingly, was trying to create an environment where there were only a, a small handful of large language model builders that the U.S. government themselves could control 
through um, standard setting at NIST. So I'm, I'm very uh, happy that we we're able to turn the page on that. Um, one note in the in the action plan, we emphasize the importance of open source models. So I think um, that sort of encouraging that, which is something the last administration was very hesitant to do, um, combined with the executive order on woke AI, I think sort of can, can provide an environment where we really can have modest American people that are accurate and, and truth seeking. Thanks. Look forward to working with you on it.